Hello, this is Daniel and welcome back to part, oh, I don't even know the number, I think it's 22, uh, part 22 if I'm not wrong. Um, and we're going to continue uh, modeling the hair. So, um, as I said, we need to make this now into a couple of strands as it is in the reference. And we want to start with that by simply taking a few of these vortices and separating them basically from the rest. So you can do that by, again, similar to the way we did in the last video before. So select that and simply go with it. And I'll make it finish here because I don't plan to reconnect it. Now for the end, let's see. Um, yeah, let's try simply to do it like this and we'll see how good this works or, or if it will look bad. Um, but that should be right. Yeah, so we can do just a little bit of adjustments here to make this actually look smooth. Um, you know, this shouldn't have too many um, random curves in there which have no reason for being there, but that is all right. So first part done. Now let's move on to the next one. Um, next, let's, let's select this group here. Um, but I think I'll make this one split up once again a bit later on. Well, first of all, sorry, let's, let's don't do that. First of all, let's continue with just this for a little bit longer. Um, just like this, and then let's do the splitting here. All right, now I don't want that to touch here, just in case. Um, okay, right. now it's time to do the splitting. So from here to here should be good. That gives us enough enough vertices to um, continue working with that. Let's extrude that just a little bit to here um, where we will split this up once again to two groups of four vertices each, is it? No, it's actually five here and four over there, which will then uh, run together. Uh, this one we can simply close. It's just four vertices, so it's not a problem here. And Mm, let's just make it corrected from different angles because we don't want everything to be all that straight. And now the other one, um, extrude this one out again, rotate a little, extrude, rotate, scale, stuff like that until you're happy with the result. And I think I'll go for something like this with this one. Now here we have five vertices, if I'm not wrong. Uh, so we'll have to have one triangle. And this is how it could look, for example. I mean, you know, it's a tip, it's all right, it's not a big deal. Let's smooth the, uh, the, the faces again, the shading, set it to smooth. And recalculate the normals just in case there was some small problems. Now here's the next, um, the, the part left. This one should also split up into a few strands and then I think I'll um, make a hole here and, and give, give it an opening to uh, give us even more strands because we want a bit more detail than this. Now here we have this. Let's make it like that. That should be good. Um, Extruded. Let's see which direction do we go this time. It's quite hard to come up with this kind of stuff. Okay, similar to the last one, we want to f uh, do four and then just the ones left. And the shading to smooth. And there we go. Let's make this a bit thinner. Now here, the last one. Um, the one in the center. I want to get this one a bit out here to fill up the space that's left. Ok, 
and then make it run together to one tip again. Hmm, still not very sure how long it should be, but let's just give it a try and let's fix it later if it turns out not so good. So let's take a look at this. Um, actually, let's view this separately. Let's move this to the second layer as well and let's view just the hair itself. So to me, that looks quite good actually. I like uh, the way this looks. Um, I want to give it though a little bit of more structure, especially here where it's all flat. We don't want to have too much flat, um, too many flat areas in one small space. We also don't want to be too smooth in general. So the next thing we'll do now is refine it. Actually, you know I said uh, I would split it up here. I think it's actually enough. This looks just fine. All I'll do now is refine it like this. You see, I'm just uh, selecting a few of these vertices and moving them towards each other. Um, and I'm trying to pick those that give us less loss of quality while, um, yeah, giving us some nice edges at the right places. Here, for example, as well. Let's just be careful with it, not to select all, everything at the same time because we don't know where it will change where we do not want it to change. Um, you can also use in some situations the crease of the tool, the edge creasing. Uh, however, I don't see the need for that right now. Yeah, but actually I'm really happy with how this turned out right now. Looks pretty good. Of course, you can uh, do this do this entire progress two times to have two individual uh, individually designed parts of hair. Uh, will definitely not hurt to do so. Um, I'm kind of being lazy right now. We're not doing that. Okay, let's go back to layer one, and that looks pretty good. So that was quite a short part today but I think that's all I want to cover today um, next time we'll do yeah so there are a few things that are still missing for example those um, finishing this connection between those two parts of the hair adding a few details and making this look all nice see you next time thank you for watching